Hi, I'm Cesar Santos. What makes a good painting? To understand what makes a good painting, we have to break it down. Because only when we investigate the question, we get a better answer. What do we mean by good and what is meant by painting? By good, do we mean something we desire? Something we all approve? Or is it good when it has the qualities required for a particular role? A good painting, therefore, has to have the qualities required to express the idea, the message, or to evoke emotions to the viewer. We have two types of artists, one that control the elements and always achieve this expression, and another type is just pure intuition, just by accident, with no conscious effort. Both examples have resulted in great works of art. The goal of a good painting, then, is to separate itself from its maker and to start a relationship with the viewer, to test his psychology and to feed his soul. But in order to understand it, in order to really enjoy a work of art, it's better if we understand its time, its culture, and, uh, and how it was made. That way we have a direct and complete experience in front of a piece of art. Now that we have understood good, we're gonna think about what painting is. I'm gonna simplify it by saying that painting is what painting has been, a painted picture. And if we realize how old it is, painting is as old the practice as humans before recorded history. We then realize that paintings have been created using our bare hands, as earlier examples of cave paintings. They only use like ochres and blacks. Also paintings have been created with countless tools, like sticks, brushes, palette knives, sprays, even just throwing paint on the surface. Since painting has been a human expression throughout the ages, we can analyze it and define it like this. Painting is a human form of expression made by hand or any other tool using some color that will take us to a new psychological place. As we endeavor into what makes a good painting, I want to explore what makes a painting. Of course, other than the artist making it, but what is the drive, the motivation? We have two types of examples of that. One is the motivation of a purely intuitive attitude or intention by the artist or a commission which means that someone else uh, ordered and asked for a painting. These two types of intention or purpose to make a painting have created great results throughout history. But what makes a good painting and what the reason to make a painting is to connect to a deeper, higher level. To make a painting, we use certain universal elements like line, shape, value, form, texture, and uh, the artist composes those elements with a principles of design, like balance, repetition, unity, movement. Only an artist can elevate these elements by the way he or she combines them to ultimately connect the viewer with humanity. Sometimes, due to cultural or just personal taste, we cannot connect to a certain type of art. That's why we cannot have a universal judge telling us what is good and bad art. That is to be determined by the viewer who stands in front of a painting and surrenders to it and see if his psychology can be tested in a deep way. Let's wrap this video up. With the power of your art, compose the elements. People's souls will elevate, not about us. Anyways.